It is official. After 30 years of research and hard work, Spain has become one of the very few nations on planet Earth that can build powerful, advanced, and formidable submarines dubbed the S-80 Plus class. This stealthy and deadly submarine class represents one of Spain's most important megaprojects in the past two decades. Needless to say, the project was a success and countries are lining up to buy this marvelous Spanish invention. What is the S-80 Plus class submarine? And what are the insane engineering technologies that made it possible? And what are its weapon systems? Before we dive in, let's talk a little bit about the fascinating world of military submarines. Since World War II, submarines have evolved into the most deadly stealthy weapons in existence. Even older, semi-advanced submarines can be quite deadly and destructive if operated competently. Today, building one military submarine is nothing short of an expensive mega project. Special facilities have to be constructed, custom-made equipment and parts must also be made in purpose-specific factories, and the technologies used must also be locally developed, all in absolute secrecy, and it also must be more superior than its counterparts. You simply cannot build an advanced and fierce military submarine by ordering parts from manufacturers or buying the designs. The technologies used are often classified secrets and designed specifically to prevent reverse engineering. Even though nuclear-powered submarines are notoriously famous and intriguing, their captains fear nothing more than the modern and advanced, smaller, stealthier, conventional submarines because they are designed as fast hunters of the deep, while nuclear submarines are slow, loud, and designed as carriers of nuclear weapons for the purpose of deterrence. This is why Spain has been implementing a conventional submarine development mega-project since the mid-1990s. Only recently, their program finally handed over the first S-80 submarine to the Spanish Navy, thus putting Spain on the path to military superiority as three more submarines will be added to the fleet in the next four years. It took Spain nearly 30 years just to develop one, and now it can produce several per year, making it one of the very few countries capable of producing such a formidable weapon. By all means, the S-80 Plus is superior to the notorious German-made Type 212A, Dakar, and Dolphin-class submarines. The whole story started on May 7, 2021, when the Spanish royals presided over the preliminary launching ceremony of the S-80. Spaniards celebrated the immense achievement, which is compared to building a world-class aircraft carrier, because building superior submarines is an extremely complex process that requires a very rare type of engineers, large investments, and superior technologies. The endeavor was not easy. The designs were changed many times since the 1990s to accommodate new advancements. This is why the word plus was added after S-80. It is meant to show that it is a more modern design. In late 2021, the first S-80 underwent rigorous tests to confirm its unparalleled capabilities and formidable weapons systems. Everything went smoothly, which is quite rare. As a result, the maker of the S-80, the notorious corporation Navesha, which is owned by the Spanish government and already produces several types of respectable modern naval ships and related weapon systems and technologies, can produce several units per year and is allowed to export them to NATO member states and other U.S. strategic allies such as Saudi Arabia. The S-80 Plus class submarines are 3,200 ton, 81 meter long, 8 meters wide, non-nuclear conventional submarines that are equipped with state-of-the-art, revolutionary, third-person, Air Independent Propulsion Systems, AIP, along with powerful weapon systems such as heavyweight torpedoes, marine mines, and anti-ship cruise missiles. Additionally, it is designed to hunt other submarines because it is very quiet and rather fast. The in-house developed AIP technology has been hailed as a colossal achievement due to its superiority that allows the submarines to perform more effectively during battles. Allow us to clarify here that AIP stands for Air Independent Propulsion, which is any marine propulsion technology that allows a non-nuclear submarine to operate without access to atmospheric oxygen by surfacing or using a snorkel. 
The main features are always fuel cells, batteries, and electric motors. Advanced AIP technologies also make conventional submarines, such as the S-80+, stealthier than most nuclear submarines, which are loud due to the many large and complex machines, such as the nuclear reactor coolant pumps. Did you know that the average nuclear reactor coolant pumps on nuclear submarines are three decks tall? The S-80 Plus AIP system has an extended endurance of more than three weeks and can be operated throughout the entire depth range of the submarine, which, needless to say, is quite impressive. This air-independent propulsion system is based on a bioethanol processor consisting of a reaction chamber and several intermediate Coprox reactors. The system transforms the bioethanol into high-purity hydrogen. The output feeds a series of fuel cells. The fact that the S-80 features three bioethanol engines and one electric fuel cell-powered engine means it has a solid backup system and greater generation capacity, which means much shorter snorkeling time, hence more stealth. Another AIP fuel cell unit enables the submarine to keep the electronic systems, such as the Combat Information Center, cool during battles and spy missions by keeping the air conditioners on without compromising maximum silence. In fact, the submarine features 13 sophisticated, ultra-quiet independent air conditioners distributed throughout the ship and a cooling system dedicated to the crucial combat system. It is also very spacious and boasts plenty of space for the crew, who do not have to work long shifts since only 11 men can operate it. The constantly blasting air conditioners, extra space, and short shifts mean the crew does not experience fatigue and thus are more effective. One of the biggest problems in submarines is the layout. In many submarines, the Tactical Action Officer (TAO) has to move a lot or even go to different compartments just to get an accurate picture of the situation below water and on the surface near the submarine. However, the S-80 does not have such a problem since the control console layout for the TAO's convenience is situated between the sonar supervisor and the tactical supervisor, which gives the TAO fast and quick accurate knowledge that enables him to correlate the tactical information with the sonar information very fast. It is time to talk about weapons. The S-80 weapon system and the advanced stealth and sonar capabilities give it an unparalleled edge. For example, the S-80 that has been handed to the Spanish Navy is equipped with a list of weapon handling and discharge equipment that should make ships and other submarines in its path think twice before going head-to-head -head with it. It is fitted for sub-harpoon missiles, tomahawk missiles, sea mines, DM-2A4 heavyweight torpedoes, MK-48 torpedoes, Black Shark torpedoes, Spearfish torpedoes, TP-2000 torpedoes, Exocet missiles, and of course, advanced countermeasure systems. The submarine systems can also easily acquire, evaluate, and present all the information necessary for offensive, defensive, or intelligence actions, including control of the weapons and countermeasures. All thanks to an insane top-secret combat system, the S-80 can acquire and track multiple targets in different scenarios. This combat core involves integrating a whole series or web of systems that differ significantly from those found on board frigates and destroyers. This web of integrated systems includes two ARES S-80 servers, which are the real nerve center of the submarine, several multifunctional consoles, two consoles for the ship steering and platform control, a large tactical display, and many other multifunctional terminals for things such as the multifunctional repeater and the digital mapping surf. It also features three different types of sonars that are designed to increase the submarine's effectiveness and capabilities in terms of surveillance, detection, tracking, analysis, and classification while eliminating the submarine's noise. These sonars allow it to triangulate and target land, airborne, submerged, and surface targets while also obtaining acoustic intelligence. The S-80 Plus is simply a game changer for Spain and Europe and is also one of the rare, true monsters of the deep that are worth respect. What do you think about the S-80 Plus class submarine by Novatia? 
Let us know in the comments section and please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.